Hello and welcome to In the Court of the Winter Nave. We're into our 95 tour. The 95 tour live at the Wiltern is our earliest CD that's released separately that's not on the threat box or anything like that. I'm a bit aware that the Collectors Club and Room Room aren't necessarily representing that the tour that well. I mean you're missing stuff there. But those are the ones, those are the rules of the video, so those are the ones we're doing. Straight away, you know, the band sounds so much better than they did in 94, whether it was a technological change, whether they just cranked it up, or what, I'm not really sure. You know, whether it was just figured out how to mix it, I'm not really sure. But this sounds so much better than Baboon. And it also started the, the slow movement to going heavier and louder and noisier, which technically eventually ends up at the projects. Up till recently, we didn't have the UK tour which preceded this. Um, we didn't have anything from it until the Thrak box came out. Thrak box. So Kensington Thrak is the earliest show that we have. Unless you've downloaded stuff that's earlier, I don't know. That's interesting. But this is the, really this is the start of a run of American live albums, all all, all performed in the Americas. Uh, I'd say this is better than Kensington Thrak, actually. Interestingly, I don't know if people would agree with that because I think I get the impression Kensington Thrak was considered quite. Uh, Quite a tight performance. I prefer this one. So, track one. Introductory soundscape. The obligatory bit of fripping at the start. Apparently on some shows you would do this for quite a while before the thing starts, which is a good idea, just to get the vibe going. Um, obviously, some soundscapes are great. and uh, This is a good one. It's a happy one as well, which is interesting. So maybe that means Fripp was happy at this point. I don't know. Um, it's quite long. It's quite long, that one. Track two is Vroom Vroom. Um, so they've already decided to open with the reprise song and close with the opening song, interestingly, so it goes, it's ascending at the start and descending at the end. But yeah, like I said straight away, is it new recording technology or what is it? But it just sounds so much fatter than 94. Track 3 is Frame by Frame. I think this is a particularly good one, but always great in the 90s. Um, the best versions of Frame by Frame are in the 90s, actually, I think. It suited the double trio very well with the heavy bit and Asian Blue's voice is really on top form. It's very close to the disciplined version, actually, in a lot of ways. Closer than the live versions in the 80s. But I think I think they're really good. Track 4, Dinosaur. Better live. It's even better live. Uh, Baloo's vocals are fantastic. You wonder, is he going to pull it off live? You know, and he does. In space. He's, he's at his peak of vocals, I think. I think the best Baloo vocals are in 95, I think. Controversial, maybe. And it's a song about the dinosaur, isn't it? A classic bit of synth guitar. And, of course, the circus riff is in there. And the question of, you know, did Adrian Balloon know? Had he actually even heard Circus? Maybe he hadn't. Maybe that's funny. You know, and Fripp is, is sort of doing a bit of self-effacing dinosaur thing and Baloo doesn't even know about it. Maybe. We don't know. Track five, One Time. Fantastic song. There's not much variation in One Time. It generally sounds the same. Track six uh, is Red. This is more like it. The guitar sounds so great in the 90s for Red. However, Bill is quite subdued. Um, he doesn't go crazy like he did, you know, Billy's best in the the, the 80s, Red, actually. Uh, but the sound of it is just fantastic in the 90s. Track 7, the boom Here we go. There's a long soundscape intro, much heavier than in, in Argentina, and on the album. The drumming is more avant-garde and less world. So in 94 there was a world music element to what he was doing, so Bruford was still half in the 80s, I think. But now this is much more avant-garde. And they do the, the thumping bit really fast this time. So I, it, I, it's quite tight, so I, they must have been rehearsing. And then we have track eight is Thrak. So we have the riff, and it descends into soundscapes with noises. Uh, and they're almost a bit of what sounds like construction of light, which might be a coincidence. Um, and a little bit of the cage as well. It might just be cage, actually. Um, and we have the marimba synth stuff. Um, and then Fripp comes in with mad piano chaos and the drums come back. And then you have this fantastic moment of cacophony until it all comes back down again. It's a really good one. Um, and then back into Thrak. Track 9, Mataku Desai. Uh, always awesome in the 90s. Um, Baloo does it slightly more understated, which I think is better. Uh, track 10, Sex, Sleep, Eat, Dream, Dream. I reckon that's a particularly good version. Obviously it's better live anyway, that's a particularly good one. Uh, then we're on to disc two. Uh, we're on to People, which is a great Baloo song. Um, always good, I think we'll get slightly better, although there's not a huge variation, I think it, they would really get it funky. Then we have Improv, Two Sticks. Nice bit of volume control stuff going on. Really good. Into, of course, Elephant Talk. 
you know, wow, that's a, I mean, that's a great version of Elephant Talk. And the guitar's really sort of cutting through. I mean, it might be the way it's recorded, you know, the, or the mix. Makes it really good. Uh, next track is In Discipline. Much more reserved in the 80s. So it started off much like the album version. And at some point, it actually got, a, got less good, but this is much like the album version. But it's so great to have it well recorded, you know. The, the 90s stuff was really well recorded. Uh, track 5 is Prism. Uh, which is a, a drum duet. Track six is the talking drum. Tony Levin, of course, uses his front fingers, which looks like pencils on his fingers. So okay, dun 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 dun. And then Mark's tongue is an aspect part to yeah, heavier than ever at this point. Great on this tour, great. Um, and then we come into the end with Vroom. It's strange hearing it late in the set like that. It feels like it should open the show, but there you. And as I said before, better in two thousand, I think. Better with the double duo. And Corona Marine Fuzz and Five. Oh, yeah. And obviously all better than the album version. And we close the show with Walking On Air. Another awesome song. Um, not playing after the 90s, actually. Um, great way to close the show. Great show. Live at the Walton. See you next week. <laughs>